Hey everybody, welcome to the monthly schedule rundown. I'm going to be going over every series currently going on in the channel and the status of it. Let's just get into it. So on the left side, we're looking at the active Let's Plays on the channel right now. We've got Paper Mario, which Paper Mario been a lot of fun to record, doing really poorly on views, which is a little bit disappointing. I, I hope that people give it more of a chance because I've heard some people say they watched episode one and they thought that um, it wasn't that interesting of an RPG. But the mechanics of the game open up a lot after episode, I think it was five or something. So it's actually very challenging right now. So I hope people give it another chance. But if not, I'm going to finish the Let's Play. It was a lot of fun to record most of it. And I'm reasonably close to finishing it. Project Zomboid is still doing great. I'm really happy to have this back. We took about a month off of it just to see, um, you know, how much people wanted it back, I guess. And people really wanted it back. So we brought it back. We're having a lot of fun with that. And there's more of that this weekend. Hearts of Iron 4, the series has been going on for over a year now. I can't wait to record more of it, but currently Alderhill is on vacation in, um, in Australia, so it's very hard to get him free to record a bit due to mostly horrible internet. But he's also going camping for two weeks now, so it's a two week break on that, and hopefully we're bringing it back right after. And I'd love to have it coming out two episodes every week until it's done just to finally finish up that old series and maybe start a new Hearts of Iron one because Hearts of Iron's awesome. Terraria is going great. I've been having a lot of fun recording it ever since I made it multiplayer with Brandon. We've both been having a lot of fun with that. Um, recording of that has been going great. We just got to hard mode in the recording and that video will be going live early next week, I want to say. So we've been making really good progress in that without like beelining every little thing in the world. World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade, which used to be the secret uh, special thing that was coming. I'm really happy that that is finally airing now because I've been having a lot of fun playing it again. And I've been having a lot of fun just seeing so many of you guys on my Discord server who, those of you who either used to play it or have never played WoW before, all playing it together. It makes me feel really happy, honestly, to just log on and do my profession stuff and check the guild list and see that there's a bunch of you guys on all questing together. I just, I love that. It's just happy, wholesome shit, seeing the community come together and play this awesome free game together. Again, if you ever click on any of my World of Warcraft videos, the info on how to play it with us, there's a link in the description of the stuff you need. And if you go to our Discord server, a link in the description to all my, all my videos, go to the World of Warcraft section and just ask and we'd love to tell you anything you need to know there. And lastly, Resident Evil Revelations 2, uh, that is going up for the next two weeks on the weekend until we can bring Hearts of Iron 4 back. I don't know if anyone's gonna like it. It's a weird little niche series that I recorded a while back with Brandon on raid mode of the game, which is this weird RPG version of the game that's pretty fun. Uh, so we're gonna have four episodes go up on that over the course of the next two weeks, and then we'll see what people think of it from there and where I could slot that in the show if you guys want to continue. For Let's Plays that are currently on break, Balram, I did a few episodes of that. I still have a third one recorded that I haven't found a chance to upload yet. Again, I really don't know how I want to tackle that game. I might even change it to a streaming series at some point. And Dreamwell Z Team Training and Pokemon Platinum, which are very similar. Uh, Again, it's just difficult to get everyone together with everybody's different schedules and everything. There are a lot of little things I'm waiting for on my own end even, but they will come back one day. They're both really fun series and I want to finish them. As for streams, the active ones, we got WWE2K18, which man, that's a fucking iffy one. The gameplay is really fun. Some of the matches are incredibly intense where it seems like the chat's having a ton of fun. I'm having a ton of fun. And then they'll just be half an hour before the game allows me to do another fucking wrestling match. I'm really iffy on that one. I am almost thinking of just replacing that with another one, like just axing that one and going back to WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 on those days, because that one's a lot more action packed. I don't like the gameplay as much because the gameplay in 2K18 is actually really, really good. Uh, although I do like the old SmackDown vs. Raw games, but at least with SmackDown vs. Raw, I'm having a match all the time like there's about a five minute break between matches so it's mostly the wrestling the thing that you guys probably come to see so i'd love to hear your opinions on that mountain blade warband always going great i always have a ton of fun with that one the chat's always really active for that one so it seems like everybody's been liking that series even though a lot of it is just like training by fighting sea raiders and stuff although the wars have been getting more active um i'm probably gonna break away from the the sultanate soon because my god am i fed up with them 
they do not have, know how to run a country. I need to make my own country sometime soon. Yakuza 0 has been getting funner and funner and funner. It's a shame very few people watch it, but you know, I guess it's just not for many people's tastes. Maybe it's because a lot of people don't want to watch the cutscenes because it's, uh, it's in Japanese and they don't want to read the subtitles. I can understand that. Uh, maybe you find that a bit boring, but the combat is so much fun and the side quests have been so goofy and the main plot is genuinely really interesting and I've been having fun even just playing that off show a bit, just like leveling up my dudes, getting some money, upgrading my guys, and then bringing it to the show. That's just, oh, Yakuza 0 is the perfect game for that. And I guess I basically already talked about Smash Bros. 2007, so on break, Fable, Evil, I just have not had time to recreate the save file. It's a lot of work to do that, and I haven't had time yet. And Sonic Adventure 2, I need to find a good time for that. Maybe I'll get like a schedule together with Bob Wolf of The Wolf Den on YouTube. I know that he loves that game, and I'd love to have him co-commentate on that more often. Any excuse to get more Bob on the channel, because Bob's awesome. And people have been asking if I will ever bring back XCOM 2 on the streams. Probably. I'd love to get around to it someday, it's just, God, I cannot find time. That's every series I've got going on right now, though. Uh, I hope you guys have found this video useful. Please comment below and tell me your opinion on each one of these series, because that is really, like, the biggest thing is informing you guys of what's going on, but also to get feedback on all the series, what you like, what you don't like, any ideas you have. It's so important for the channel that I actually hear your guys' opinions on everything. So thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.